Hi, I'm Steve Heimoff, California editor, Wine Enthusiast magazine. David Bigger's passion is finding small brands led by rebels and contrarians and then getting them into the marketplace. No easy task. But David's company, Vintage Point, has succeeded wildly with more than 600,000 cases of wines that consumers love for their uniqueness and even their eccentricity. David is a concept guy, a relationship builder, and with his business partner, Tom Peterson, he has established Vintage Point as the modern definition of a wine sales and marketing firm. When Vintage Point launched in 2006, we added the tagline Partners in Wine because we had relationships with distributors, we had relationships with key trade. In fact, we were bringing the client to share those relationships with all three tiers, the distributor, the key trade, and eventually the consumer. We started with the concept that there were so many good wines out there and so many good, clever producers that they just needed a way to get to the marketplace. And we thought, can't we bring these people all together? We thought that Finish Point could be a relationship builder. It all started with Jason Woodbridge. He was bringing a brand called Layer Cake to market. Jason's first wine was a Shiraz. There wasn't a trade buyer that wanted to add another Shiraz to their shelf, and here we were launching our first wine. And now, Jason's Shiraz is the number one Shiraz selling over $10. And then Jason decides that he's going to make wine in five different countries. The guy makes wine in Australia, he makes wine in Argentina, he's in Spain, he's in Puglia, Italy. Who would go to Puglia, Italy to make a Primitivo? He's a rebel, but he's the kind of contrarian that you want in the valley developing these innovations. Jason created two great new concepts in the last two years. One is called Cherry Pie, the other one, If You See K. Both are pieces of art that he found that became the label designs, which is catching people's attention around the country. So what we looked for were people who were innovators and would bring new products to market. New products that were building upon a traditional base, or new products that were from new parts of the world and varieties that people hadn't tried before. Mark Albrecht developed a brand called Educated Guess. It's a completely innovative model, affordable wines made from the top quality grapes of Napa Valley. The name Educated Guess was developed by a bunch of close friends discussing all the educated guesses that they made developing and making the wine. As an extension of the Educated Guess brand, Mark developed Hypothesis, the first Napa Valley wine to be 100% flash detente. Finish Point has developed relationships within the grower community as well. We're bringing brands directly from growers to consumers. In California, we have the Garnet label. And internationally now, we're representing wines from Argentina under the Mountain Door label, from New Zealand with the Macara label, and from Spain, the Lo Nuevo brand. Vintage Point also has a very high-end range. We have Beer Cone, Hidden Ridge, Gary Farrell, Moon Chai, and 100 Acre. Putting together the portfolio of Vintage Point has been very gratifying. There's a lot of different personalities, great creativity, wonderful winemaking. We're putting it all together into a very unique portfolio, and that's been fun. I'm pleased to introduce David Bigger, Wine Enthusiast's Wine Star Award Innovator of the Year. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to uh, uh, say special thanks to Adam. Um, 27 years ago, I think it was, I, I, I uh, uh, brought a case of wine to, to the warehouse and uh, hoping that I'd be uh, getting photographed for, for an upcoming catalog. And, and it, you know, you've really come a long way. Um, you, you've provided a, uh, a vision that's, that's led people, whether it's opening wine, drinking wine, decanting wine, um, you know, you've, you've really brought the whole American uh, public along with you. I'd like to also thank the editorial staff because um, what's transpired, you know, over the last 25 years, they've been very much a part 
of the, uh, uh, the American uh, fabric, if you will, of, of the wine lifestyle uh, being part of it. Um, you know, good wines have great stories about them, real stories, not, manufa not manufactured stories, but we still need our distributor partners here in the room as well as uh, retail and restaurant tours to help tell those stories. So I appreciate all our partners in wine that are, are here in the room. And, and thank you again to Adam and the editorial staff.